To put a clasp on a piece of chain, the first thing you're going to do is open a jump ring. And to do that, we're using a pair of chain nose pliers, and we're just going to look for the split that's in the jump ring where it opens, and we're going to put the split right next to this um, pair of chain nose pliers. So we're just grabbing onto the jump ring on one side of the split. We're going to take a second pair of pliers. We're using round nose pliers, just because that's what we have on hand. And we're going to open the jump ring by grabbing the other side of the split of the jump ring and rotating the pliers. So one pair of pliers is pushing away and one is sort of pulling toward me. And now our jump ring is open. I'm going to take one side of my toggle clasp and feed it on. And I'm going to take the end of my chain, find the last link there, and feed that on to that side of the jump ring. Just like that. So both of those are on there. Now I'm going to grab one side of the split of the jump ring with one pair of pliers, grab the other side of the jump ring, and then rotate again to close it. And then a little trick we like to do is to take our chain nose pliers and just sort of mash or um, press those two ends together so that they kind of closes that little gap. And then we've got our first um, end of our clasp on our chain. And then to put the other end of the clasp on, we're just going to repeat the same process. So we've got our jump ring and our chain nose pliers. We're going to find that split in the jump ring and grab onto the jump ring with the chain nose pliers to one side of that split. Use the other pair of pliers, rotating to open up that jump ring. And then we're going to feed the other end of the clasp onto the jump ring, kind of like you're fishing. And then we're going to take the last link of the other end of our chain and feed that on. So they're both on there like that. We're going to take our second pair of pliers, grab onto the other side of the jump ring and rotate. Let me do that again here. Slipped. It's a little tricky with all that stuff on there. Rotate it until it's closed. And then again, I'm just going to press those ends of the jump ring together using my chain nose pliers to close that gap. And now we've got our beautiful toggle clasp on our chain. And we like to use a decorative toggle because then you can turn the necklace so that this part is in the front or to the side, like a little decorative feature. Or you could always put a pendant on the chain.